What if there's a theory that challenges everything we know about the universe? This theory suggests that everything we see, feel and experience might not be what it seems. It's a theory that makes scientists question everything. We are talking about its origins, the science behind it, the debates it has sparked and what it could mean for our future. But why should you care? Well, this theory doesn't just push the boundaries of science, it touches on deep philosophical questions and could potentially reshape the way we live and think about our place in the universe. All right, let's start by breaking down this theory. The theory we're talking about today is called the simulation hypothesis. In simple terms, it suggests that our entire reality, everything we see, feel and experience, might actually be an artificial simulation, like a super advanced video game. This idea isn't entirely new. It gained major attention when philosopher Nick Bostrom proposed it in 2003, Bostrom suggested that if advanced civilizations could create detailed simulations of their ancestors, it's possible that we are living in one of those simulations right now. The basic principles of this theory are pretty mind-blowing. First, there's the concept of technological advancement. If a civilization can reach a point where they can create highly realistic simulations, then it's likely they would. Second, if they did create these simulations, there would be many more simulated realities than actual ones. This means the chances of us living in the base reality are pretty slim. And third, there are some weird things in quantum mechanics, like particles being in two places at once or changing when observed, that could be explained by us living in a programmed reality. So to sum it up, the simulation hypothesis challenges our understanding of reality by suggesting that everything we know might just be a sophisticated computer program. It's a radical idea, but it has sparked serious discussions among scientists, philosophers and even tech leaders. Now let's dive into the scientific foundations of the simulation hypothesis. You might be wondering, what kind of evidence supports such a wild idea? Well, several intriguing pieces of evidence make scientists take this theory seriously. One key piece of evidence comes from quantum mechanics, phenomena like entanglement, where particles seem to communicate instantaneously over vast distances, and the observer effect, where particles change behavior when observed, suggests that our reality might not be as solid as we think. Some scientists argue that these quirks could be explained if we were living in a simulated environment. Another important experiment is the famous double slit experiment. In this experiment, particles like electrons behave differently when they are observed versus when they are not. This bizarre result has led some to speculate that reality itself is influenced by observation, much like how a computer simulation only renders what's needed when it's being watched. Let's talk about some of the prominent figures in this debate. Elon Musk, the tech entrepreneur, has famously said that the chances we are not living in a simulation are one in billions. On the scientific side, physicist James Gates has found what he describes as error-correcting codes in the equations of string theory, which are similar to the ones used in computer code. This has led him to wonder if our universe might be a simulation. On the flip side, there are skeptics like physicist Sabine Hossenfelder who argue that these ideas are more philosophical than scientific and that we need more concrete evidence. So while the evidence is still largely circumstantial, these scientific observations and experiments provide a fascinating foundation for the simulation hypothesis. It's a theory that pushes the boundaries of what we understand about reality and forces us to consider possibilities that seem straight out of a sci-fi movie. All right, let's talk about the implications of the simulation hypothesis. If this theory holds true, it could revolutionize our understanding of the world in some pretty mind-blowing ways. First, let's consider the scientific impact. If we are living in a simulation, it means that the laws of physics, cosmology, and everything we know about the universe are essentially the rules of a highly advanced computer program. This could change the way we approach scientific research, pushing us to look for glitches or anomalies that might reveal the underlying code of our reality. It could also lead to a new branch of science dedicated to understanding and interacting with this code, similar to how we study genetics to understand biological life. Now, think about the technological consequences. 
If our universe is a simulation, it implies that creating such simulations is possible. This could mean that with enough technological advancement, we might eventually create our own simulations. Imagine the possibilities, virtual realities indistinguishable from our own, where we could explore different historical eras, create new worlds, or even achieve a form of digital immortality. On the flip side, it also raises concerns about the limitations imposed by the programmers of our simulation and what happens if they decide to shut it down or reboot it. But beyond the science and technology, the simulation hypothesis brings up some deep philosophical questions. If our reality is simulated, what does that mean for our sense of self, our free will and our purpose? Are we just characters in a cosmic video game with our actions predetermined by the code? Or do we have some level of agency within the simulation? And what about the ethical implications? If we create our own simulations, do the beings within them deserve rights and moral consideration? These are questions that philosophers and ethicists will be debating for years to come. So, the simulation hypothesis isn't just a scientific curiosity. It challenges the very foundation of our reality, prompting us to rethink our understanding of the universe, our technological potential and the core of what it means to be human. Whether you find it exciting, scary or a bit of both, it's a topic that invites us all to look a little deeper into the nature of existence. All right. While the simulation hypothesis is fascinating, it's not without its fair share of controversies and debates. Let's dive into some of the criticisms and alternative perspectives. First off, there's a significant amount of skepticism from the scientific community. Many scientists argue that the simulation hypothesis is more philosophical than scientific because it lacks empirical evidence. It's difficult, if not impossible, to test or falsify the idea that our universe is a simulation, which makes it fall outside the realm of conventional scientific inquiry. Critics also point out that just because something is technologically feasible doesn't mean it's necessarily true. Then, there are alternative theories that challenge the simulation hypothesis. The Copenhagen Interpretation and Pilot Wave Theory are two examples within quantum mechanics that offer different explanations for the phenomena we observe. These theories focus on the nature of particles and waves without resorting to the idea of a simulated reality. Additionally, some cosmologists propose the many worlds interpretation, which suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event occurs in a separate parallel universe this theory, while equally mind-bending, provides a different framework for understanding reality. Public perception of the simulation hypothesis is also quite varied. For some, it's a captivating idea that sparks the imagination and leads to endless speculation. It's made its way into popular culture, influencing movies, TV shows and books. Think of films like The Matrix or TV series like Westworld which explore themes of simulated realities and question the nature of existence. However, others view the hypothesis with skepticism or even indifference, seeing it as more of a thought experiment than a serious scientific theory. So while the simulation hypothesis opens up a world of intriguing possibilities, it's also a topic of heated debate and skepticism. It challenges us to think critically about the nature of reality and consider a range of perspectives, both scientific and philosophical. Whether you're a believer, a skeptic or somewhere in between, it's a discussion that continues to captivate and provoke thought. Looking forward, the simulation hypothesis isn't just a conversation piece for philosophers and sci-fi fans. There's actual ongoing research aimed at exploring its validity. Currently, researchers in fields like quantum physics and computer science are investigating ways to test the hypothesis. One area of interest is quantum entanglement and how information might be transmitted at a fundamental level. If we could find anomalies or patterns that suggest a programmed universe, it could lend credence to the idea. There's also the study of cosmic rays where some scientists are looking for evidence of pixelation in the fabric of space-time, akin to the pixels on a computer screen. In terms of potential breakthroughs, there are a few exciting developments on the horizon. Quantum computing, for example, could revolutionize our understanding of reality by allowing us to simulate complex systems at unprecedented scales. 
As these technologies advance, they might offer new ways to probe the nature of our universe. Additionally, space exploration missions might uncover new data about the fundamental structure of space-time that could support or refute the simulation hypothesis. Future discoveries related to the simulation hypothesis could have profound implications. If we were to prove that our universe is indeed a simulation, it would upend our understanding of reality, forcing us to rethink everything from the laws of physics to the nature of consciousness. It could open up new avenues of research in both science and philosophy and potentially lead to technological advancements we can't even imagine yet. For humanity, it might mean coming to terms with our place in a much larger, possibly artificially created multiverse. Whether or not we ever find definitive proof, the quest to understand the true nature of our universe continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge. It's a journey filled with mystery, wonder and endless possibilities.